So I'm just, I'm just rocking the boat, honey. I'm just rocking the boat. <laughs> Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, it's pretty straightforward. We're going to be testing out some new drugstore makeup, seeing if it's good. And uh, I'm actually pretty excited because these are products I've been kind of gathering along the way. And I just, I don't know, there's something about these. I like to wait until I have a good, like a full face, a big group of makeup. And that way we just have a nice wide variety of stuff. You know, everything from Catrice to Maybelline. We have a little Milani, a couple Morphe sprays. Now, before we get into the video, you guys know the drill, okay? You guys know the drill, okay? So let's pause for a second. If you are new, you here you don't know who I am my name is Paige this is Seeking Alexandria welcome to the channel um, if you haven't done so yet maybe you've seen me once twice never or a thousand times please subscribe before you leave it's just down below and then click the little bell so you're notified when I upload um, those uploads typically go up Monday Wednesday Friday right around 7 7 30 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan and from there the biggest the most important the most overarching thing we need to talk about of course per usual say it with me follow me on Instagram you guys it is gonna be listed down below. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, but I am way more active on Instagram and I am trying to get to 10,000 followers so I can have the swipe up feature, okay? This is something like, this is like a campaign, okay? This is a thing that we have been talking about for a minute now. And don't get me wrong, like I didn't push it quite this heavily at first. I want to say I started like, you know, maybe a month, month and a half ago and I was just like, oh my god, like how do I build my followers? And then it occurred to me, Paige, just put it, put it out there, put it loud, put it proud. You got to be a little bit shameless sometimes and just say, hey guys, I need you to follow me. I really want the swipe up feature. I really just I want to grow my Instagram in general really what it is too. like obviously you know as I've said 14,000 times yes I want the swipe up feature but like even more than that I just want to grow that platform because I feel like it is the most relational the most fun and and for me a lot of times it's just like my day-to-day -day, it's my normal page if you will it's not like the on camera with the beauty lights and all of this stuff it's the page that's in the office or the page that's just hanging out maybe she doesn't feel good she's talking to you about videos real life things random people at the drive-thru I, I don't know I love it I love the insta stories for those of you that have never been over there kind of what to expect I post a wide variety of things goofy photos uh, makeup IGTV makeup looks plus size fashion um, I like to write so sometimes there's a little bit more of an artistic vibe over there and there's just there's just a little bit of everything I try to keep it nice and well-rounded and just have a good time with it so if you haven't done so please like I said go down follow me on Instagram everything will be linked down below but with all of that done and out of the way and hopefully you are now following me on Instagram and you are subscribed let's go ahead and move the camera in and let's get started now we scooch yeah, just scooching on the down low. <laughs> no, <laughs> just me, okay. <laughs> All right, beautiful people, we're good. We're zoomed in, and really quickly, something I want to mention. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you might not know this. I talked about it on Saturday, but I did just go and get several ear piercings. So if you see me being a little bit more cautious in this area, that is why. Um, I went through and I actually got this one right here is re-pierced, which if you again, if you saw me over there, you know I talked about it. I'm pretty open about you know most things in life. Uh, but they, when I was little, like nine, ten years old, they screwed up my main piercing right here. So I had her fix that one and then I got all three on both sides so now I have three lower lobes and three lower lobes and then on this side I had her do this piercing right here and then I already had this one up here guys it was so much fun like seriously my mom and I went because my mom got a bunch of piercings too because that's just like who she is my mom's covered in tattoos and piercings and you know she's just like that that fun loving little lady and uh, yeah it was just it was a good time but I wanted to mention it to you guys just in case you see like maybe I'm not blending quite quite as intensely in this area because normally I'll kind of buff it into my ears. <laughs> Not so much right now, honey boo boo child, because we, we gotta let things heal. We gotta let things get back to normal. Um, so, you know, that's just where we're at. But I am still, of course, adorning some little ear cuffs, which are just so cute. And oh my God, like guys, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with how my ears turned out. Is that a weird thing? Is that a weird thing to say? I'm obsessed with how my ears turned out. I don't know, I can't tell, but God, they're so cute. Okay, anyways, let's get into makeup. Starting off first, we have a new primer from Catrice. This is their Prime and Fine Anti-Red Primer. I'm just reading off of the Ulta website here. This retails for $8. It is a new primer as a part of like their, their primer line. And it says, goodbye redness. The Catrice Prime and Fine Anti-Red Primer contains calming hemp oil, which balances and soothes the skin, while the formula's subtle green tint neutralizes any redness, creating a flawless base for foundation application. This vegan formula is lightweight and ideal for for anyone with red or blotchy skin concerns. And I don't know if y'all know this, okay, but I got, I, got, I got red blotchy skin. All right, so this is the level of green. <laughs> Looks kind of like a mud mask. So to start off with this, I'm only putting it on this one side just because I want to be able to compare both. Ooh, that smells good. It reminds me of... 
Like a very, I can actually smell the hemp oil. It smells like um, like a detox mask when you do them and they kind of dry down and help clean out your impurities. That's what this reminds me of. Ooh, I like that smell. I really like that smell. Okay, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but like, it smells good. Wait, can I see it? I feel like on the monitor, I can almost see a difference. Like this side has like a light little, like kind of shadow to it, I, but I can't tell. Am I seeing that just because I want to see it or is it really there? No, I actually, I, it's very, very light, super subtle, but I feel like I can see a difference. Can you guys, you tell me, can you see a difference if I just look straight at the camera? Do you guys see a difference? Primer? No primer. Tell me down below because I, I feel like I can a little bit. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's go ahead. I'm just going to take a little bit more here. Do the other side. Nice green situation. Well, wow, <laughs> quite green. Moving on from there, we have a new BB cream. This is also from Catrice. This is their Clean ID Hydro BB cream. And it says on the Ulta website, this is available in six shades and it retails for $10. Currently sitting with four and a half out of five stars with four reviews. And down in the description here, it says rock the no makeup makeup look with the Catrice Clean HD Hydro BB cream. Made with 99% natural ingredients, this lightweight BB cream offers natural coverage and gives the skin a radiant finish. Enriched with shea butter, the nourishing formula works on all skin types uh, to give you lightweight natural coverage and cruelty-free, vegan, paraben, gluten, alcohol-free, perfume-free, all the things it is free of and 100% cruelty-free. Okay. Okay, so a couple of things to mention um, with this BB cream. So first things first, I don't think I mentioned this yet, but I picked this up in in the shade 015 light warm and I mean <laughs> according to how it's looking on my skin right now I would definitely say that this shade is a little bit dark for me so just something to keep in mind if you are around my uh, my skin tone in terms of how it applied you know the the product itself setting aside the fact that I'm gonna have to kind of match myself with the rest of my body here <laughs> shortly but I think you know the the formula itself is actually really beautiful it has a nice light coverage um I, I think as far as application goes, I do like it both ways, whether you go brush or sponge, which I used the Kaleido sponge at first, and then I used the, what is this, Heavenly Skin Brush. This is their Skin Smoothing Complexion from IT Cosmetics, and both of them applied it very, very nicely. It does have a very smooth feeling on the skin, which is nice, um, especially given that it has a little bit of like a, a thicker formula to it. It just presses in very, very nicely, but I did find that you are able to build better coverage faster with a brush versus a sponge. So again, just something to consider if you are applying it or you're looking for a little bit more coverage in certain areas. Going in for concealer, I don't have anything new, but I definitely need to add a little bit of light, a little matching, and a little bit more coverage because obviously this is a lighter coverage product. So I'm going to go in with some of my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. Again, this isn't new. I've tested it before on here, but I just think in terms of like the way that this sits on the skin, it has more of a hydrated look, and I feel like this concealer will work really well. Um, and this is in the shade Fair 05W, so it is going to be pretty light, but I think I can blend it out and make it work because I'm not going to be using a lot of it. Now from here, I don't have anything new for powder or for brows, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw on a couple of the ones I've been using lately, which first up we have the Fenty powder. This is the loose powder in the shade Butter. And I'm going to use this just to set the under eye and the T-zone. Then to lightly set the rest of my face. I'm going to use my normal Too Faced Born This Way powder. This is in the shade Cloud. So now with the face good and set down, it's time to move on to some more new products because I don't know why I would think it's time for brows. It's definitely not. Um, so we're going to skip in to bronzer and this is one from Catrice that I picked up. This is their Sungasm Luminizing Bronzer in the shade CO1 Golden Ecstasy. It actually looks really, really beautiful. It's got a fair amount of color to it though. Ew, that makes me a little bit nervous. Oh, actually, you know what? I guess it's not that bad, okay. For application, I'm gonna be using this Duo Fiber Brush. This is from IT Cosmetics. It's their Blurring Powder Brush. I'm just gonna get that lightly worked in. I'm not, I'm not gonna go in too heavy off the bat because you know it's got a little bit of shimmer in it. We gotta be careful. It's very light and you, it's like a nice buildable shade, which I really, really appreciate. And as you kind of buff it into the skin, you get like that luminosity, but it does come from more of like a glow within versus like a topical shimmer, which is great. Like if it was a topical shimmer, I would absolutely hate it. All right, now going into blush, I actually have two different options here. I have this Pixie and Chloe Morello palette, which I found this over at uh, TJ Maxx or Marshalls, one of the two, um, probably like a 
month or two before the like shutdown and before quarantine and all of that. And I've always been super uh, curious about this shade right here because I just think it's so beautiful. Like it would make such a great blush, especially if you wanted to like mix these two and like tone it down a freckle. It would just be beautiful. But then I also have some more shades of the Essence blush. This is their The Blush blush. And I am absolutely obsessed with these. I was on the website one day on Ulta and I found that they had more shades of it available. And so I picked them up and I just think this pink color, this is in the shade 40 Beloved, Beloved, Be Beloved. And it's so beautiful. But then I also picked it up in this one, which is 20 Bespoke, which is more of just like a nude brown shade. Okay, super beautiful. And lastly, I have it in the shade 50 Blooming. And this one, I just wonder like, is the, how the hell is that, <laughs> that even a blush? Like to me, that looks more like an under eye powder <laughs> than it does like a blush. But maybe if you wanted to use it as like a way to diffuse out another blush or mix it, maybe that way they're not like so intense. Uh, but either way, this blush formula from Essence is stunning. I love it. I think what I want to do is I'm going to start off in the Chloe Morello palette because truthfully, I just, I want to, I kind of want to mix those two. So that's what we're going to do. We'll start there. Um, excuse me. That was so rude. Don't ever do it again. As I was saying, we're going to start here and mix these two shades, taking this on an It Cosmetics 227 Flawless Blush Brush. I'm just going to kind of lightly pop these on. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, that's really pretty. I like it. Oh, wow. There's a, there's a hell of a sheen there. <gasps> Can you guys see that on camera? Oh, boy. What? Oh, that's, oh, yeah. They're okay. <laughs> I thought they had like a little flush moment to them. Oh, no. They're, they're definitely, they're definitely shiny. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. And just for the record, it's not that it's not pretty. I do love it. Like, it looks really nice. My biggest concern is the other products that I'm going to be showcasing. I don't want them to fight. So just for clarification, it is really pretty and I don't have a problem with it. It's just that I don't want it to fight the other one that I have coming up because I have an e.l.f. highlighter palette, like just you know, spoiler alert, like, look at how sexy she is. Like, oh my God, I love it so much. And I don't want this shine to fight with like a cheek shine. So that's kind of why I'm like, oh shit, um, let's fix it. And I think it should do that. Actually, this one from Essence, this might come in a little bit more handy than previously anticipated because I'm going to take it. It's just a very, very light pink. And I'm going to just kind of pop that over top and kind of use it to dull down that shine a little bit. And it kind of, okay, that actually worked. It looks beautiful. And it just ever so gently diffuses that shade. And then for the other side, I'm going to go in with the uh, the pink essence blush right here. I'm just going to pop that down here. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, that, 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 that's pink. Okay, let's, uh, let's like tone everything down, make it all match. Let's like carry it over a little bit. Just going to, it's going to take a little fancy footwork. But I think it's gonna look pretty, okay. The the blushes don't exactly match, like they're definitely different tones, but you know, what, what, what are you gonna do? Maybe I'm a little bit more pink. Maybe this side of my face is a little bit more excited than the other side, okay? Shit happens, okay? It's, it's weird, it's summer, things things just get funky. Also, really quickly, I never did scan these other products to tell you about them. Um, it looks like this one from Catrice, the bronzer. It is currently sold out, but it retails for $8 and it has three and a half out of five stars. Um, my guess is because it is a shimmery, <laughs> shimmery bronzer and a lot of people don't don't get down with shimmery bronzers but nonetheless it is eight dollars there are two shades this one is currently sold out the deeper one is available and then with the essence blushes here there are four shades total the original shade that I talked about the one that I wore all the time that is the shade befitting and then these other three shades all, are all on Ulta so all four of them total they retail for two dollars and 99 cents and they have four and a half out of five stars with 55 reviews and let me tell you they are worth every one Mwah, chef's kiss they are fantastic fantastic honey and then for this pixie palette right here it looks like ew, it is not available on the pixie website i thought for sure that it was would be there um i don't see where this is available if i can find it it'll be linked down below uh but if not you know search search the web whatever i'll, I'll again i'll link it if i can find it from a reputable place but i cannot find this but it looks like it de did retail for 24 dollars. but anyways i think from there we're pretty much caught up so we're gonna spray the face and for today's video you guys i have four count them one two three four new setting sprays because you guys know how I am. <laughs> I just love setting sprays. I can't help myself. And I just, we're, we're going to start testing them out. So let's start over here from Morphe. We have two new ones that they launched. There is a mattifying continuous setting mist and a luminous setting spray. Again, both of those are newer. And then from Milani, we have the fruit fetish make it last kiwi watermelon scented setting spray right here. And then the Maybelline glass spray makeup finishing spray. Skin looks hydrated and gives it a dewy finish. 
finish shake well before use um i think for this step in the makeup game just to really settle everything down um and prep us for like highlight and things going forward i'm going to start off with the milani one again this is the fruit fetish make it last setting spray here give it a good little shake and then a nice little tester oh okay good good little light mist the smell is not it's not overwhelmingly powerful. You can definitely smell it. Obviously, like it has, it has a strong kiwi watermelon scent, but it's not so bad, and it does dissipate. It settles out. Okay, that's that's good. So let's go ahead and spray the face. And according to the Alta website, these retail for $9.99. They're available in three flavors, and it's currently setting at four and a half out of five stars with 49 reviews. And it says that it will lock in your makeup, refresh the skin. It is infused with fruit extract to help nourish the skin. And av available, like I said, in three different scents, mango, coconut, dragon fruit, peach, and kiwi watermelon. And it is cruelty and vegan. Again, retailing for $9.99. As far as how it looks on the skin, I mean, I, obviously I can't say much at this point because it's it's more so to help the longevity. But in terms of just like, you know, how it settled down, I like it. I don't think that it gave me like any weird finish or any um, like sheen on the skin. It's a nice neutral spray, which is good at this step, especially because, you know, we haven't played with highlight or anything. Let's go ahead and move on from there. And I think we're going to skip over, do things again in like a little bit of a funky order um, because normally at this point I'd get into brows, but like who else is just staring at this damn elf highlighter palette? Oh my God, it's so good. It looks beautiful. So I have this. This is the Glow Glow beam highlighting palette in light and then I also picked up which now that I have it in front of me it looks a little bit too dark but I picked up this as well from Catrice this is their Sungasm face and body highlight it is gigantic like look at how like oh my god this thing is huge so it looks like this one from Catrice um, it, on the Alta website is currently sold out but it retails for ten dollars uh, it has four and a half out of five stars with three reviews it's a gigantic pan it says that this jumbo sized silky soft powder is made with light reflecting pigments to give you that flawless radiant looking summer skin all year round it is highly pigmented perfect for all skin tones so silky soft powder with light reflecting pigments and then really quick let's just go ahead and give it a little bit of a swatch oh that is really pretty it has a definitely like a thicker feel a different consistency to it oh okay yeah it has a little bit of a chunktastic vibe going on but it is really beautiful. I mean, look at, I love that I point, like you can't tell. Like, no, this this is natural. You, you can't see it. It's like, it's just gonna blend right in. No, Paige, there's literally a beaming, <laughs> beaming glob of highlight, but that's really pretty. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's the Catrice one. Okay, now this one from e.l.f. right here, these are the shades. Uh, it retails for $10. It currently has five out of five stars with eight reviews. And it says in the description that the e.l.f. Cosmetics Glow, Gleam, and Beam palette has three different highlighter fits finishes from soft glow to beaming. You can transform your day glow to an intense night look in one palette. And then to break it down, they actually do have a key or like a, a little thing on there. It says shade one, which is this one, is a glitter finish. Shades two and three are shimmer. So these ones right here. And then three through six, so the entire bottom row of the palette, those are all metallics. Okay, so with these metallic formulas especially, um, they feel very, very like dry and like crackly crumbly. And I'm thinking it's very similar similar to like the e.l.f. baked formula where you might have to like kind of scrape off that top layer um, just to reveal what's underneath because like this shade right here is beautiful. I mean, they all look really pretty on camera, but like they're not swatching. I don't know if I can like get you to see what I'm seeing, but in terms of the swatches, they're not really transferring. Let me just kind of show you like all of these right here. They're not really transferring to camera at least I don't think in like a very flattering way. Like you can barely even d uh, distinguish one shade from the next, which is kind of a bummer. I'm gonna start off with a Wayne Goss O2 brush. And the shade that really pops out to me, the one that I think is gonna work the best is gonna be this metallic shade right here. Start up here, really hit the top of the cheek. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, okay, all right, all right. I'm listening, I am listening. Yeah, that's really pretty. Um, I am gonna mix in a little bit of the shade right next to it, this one right here, because I think it, I wanna just tone down, like blend it out just a little bit underneath. So I'm just gonna add a freckle of that in there just to make it look a little bit more um, matched in with the rest of my face. All right, so it might be a little bit much here. Let's go ahead and just go over top of it with my powder brush. This is the one that I applied my Too Faced powder with. There we go. Just kind of <laughs> kind of diffuse that out a little bit. We're gonna go in with the Catrice one. Just get a good little healthy coating. Let me make sure I can see what you guys are seeing and then, <gasps> oh, oh God. Oh, oh, wait a second. 
Guys, this is so beautiful. I'm so confused. Wait a second. I did not think, based on the texture, based on the shade, like anything, I didn't think it would look as pretty as it does on my face. Like, is this one of those moments where like, how dare you judge a book by its cover? Because seriously, how dare I? <gasps> it's gorgeous. I hit the other areas of the face as well. You got the nose, you got the cupid's bow, you got that chalupa chin, bitch. <laughs> yes, please. You know what? As like an all over face highlight, look at me. I'm like, do I, can I create like <laughs> some... <laughs> <laughs> then it occurred to me, bitch, you don't need to create nothing. Just put it on. What are you talking about? <laughs> just, just do it. Hello. Get, get some, get some shine on there. Let's just do it. Let's just. Can you even see that on camera? I don't have. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have enough dimension. Okay, for this, I'm just, I'm just rocking the boat, honey. I'm just rocking the boat. <laughs> Okay, so in terms of this shade, like, on my body, I think I would need to actually, like, develop a tan for it to, like, you know, do the thing it's doing on my face right now where it pops and whatnot. But as far as a face highlight, it looks beautiful. So I would imagine if you do have a tan, if you have any melanin in your skin and you don't look um, like toilet paper, I think it would be, <laughs> I think it would be your jam. Like, it's, it's really beautiful. Again, it goes on a lot smoother, a lot nicer than even I anticipated. Okay, and also, just really quickly, my little one-second plug here. Um, um, I am obsessed with Fabletics. I am not an ambassador for them. Not yet. Okay. I'm definitely trying. I'm definitely putting it out into the universe. I want to be a Fabletics ambassador so bad because, I mean, truthfully, nobody nobody acquires more of their shit than I do. Like, I love athleisure so much. But uh, if you guys are wondering about them, I did do a full video. It was a while ago, but I did a uh, hashtag not sponsored. It was like a new, like, video series type thing. And I'll link the video up here. It was all on Fabletics, on the cut, um, and just all, like, my favorite pieces from them and that was probably god at this point maybe six eight months maybe even a year ago i'm not sure but i will link the video if you want to check it out see how like their stuff fits on my body um and then of course down below i will leave the information on what i'm wearing this is just like a cute little tank top with my favorite jacket of all time it has these little holes in it like i'm just oh my god i love fabletics so much i'm also wearing the leggings you know not, not that you can see them but they're adorable truthfully i don't even know what my like my wardrobe my world would look like anymore without fabletics because so many of their pieces like so many of what they sell is just incorporated into my day-to-day -day life and it's just it's beautiful the quality is ridiculous it's just it's so good again highly recommend and also while we're on the topic you know just since I were like you know just hanging out having a conversation here um one more thing that I've been getting asked a ton of questions on is the jewelry I've been wearing whether it's this necklace my ear cuffs um both of these the big the big spike hoops that I had on the other day you guys loved those this ring um and just a lot of other pieces all my bigger hoops and I have been shopping at Melinda Maria you guys, I'll leave it linked down below, and oh my god, okay, I am absolutely obsessed, and Melinda Maria is another one of those companies that they do have, um, I, I don't know if they're, like, affiliate people or ambassadors or whatever they call them, but they have that, okay, I, of course I don't qualify because I'm either too small of an influencer or this or that, whatever, but I, that's another one, that and Fabletics, oh my god, okay, I need, I need a coupon code or I need, I need something with these places because I am obsessed. I buy from them all the time, I love the pieces, they're so beautiful, the quality is crazy, crazy good. And like I said before, I, I'm not affiliated with either of these places. So my, this is all my own money that I have spent. I've, you know, it, it's all been me and Melinda Maria, the jewelry, like I said, it's just so beautiful. So I highly recommend it. I will link some of it down below really quickly while I continue talking, I'm going to do my brows. This is the benefit. What is this? Precisely my brow. This is in 3.5 and then the gimme brow gel, which is in 4.5. Again, I don't have anything new for this video, but you know, just want to throw it out there. Anyways, as I was saying, I think I said this in a video, maybe it was like, I don't know, six months ago or so at this point. But uh, thank you guys so much for shopping through my links down below. I know it seems like such a little gesture or like some of you might not even know that it makes a difference. But when you shop through those links, I earn like a little commission, which is why there's an FTC disclosure at the bottom. And the fact that you guys like some of you actually seek out my links to shop through them. So that way I can earn the commission. I can't it's just it's so thoughtful and it's so sweet. And I just want to say thank you because I, like truthfully, I, I couldn't say thank you enough. You know, it's not a lot of money. It's not like, you know, I'm making billions of dollars or anything off of it. But it's one of those things where if you add up all the pennies, eventually you get a dollar and all of those dollars go back into the channel anyways. They go back into me reviewing products for you guys. And I just, I don't know, I really appreciate it. And it's just, I don't know, I wanted to say it. I wanted to let you guys know that you are so appreciated. And whether you know you're showing up, watching a video, that's awesome. You're clicking the links, that's awesome. You're following me on Instagram, that's extra awesome. And I just, I really appreciate it. And I wanted you guys to know because I think in this world, we have a lot of people that they don't mind voicing 
and mean shit. And I want to be somebody that voices kindness and positivity and someone that actually tells you when you're appreciated because this world doesn't tell people that enough. It doesn't, it doesn't appreciate people enough. Oh, and by the way, I don't, I don't know if I mentioned this. I try to mention it as often as possible. Um, these were sent to me, the two benefit products I'm using sent to me in PR as was the Kaleido sponge. That was the, that I used to apply my foundation, BB cream, whatever that was also sent to me again, just full, full disclosure, full everything. Okay. So you guys want to know the most bizarre thing. I was just sitting here. What is this hair doing? I was just sitting here talking to you guys about how the, the, those big like spiked earrings, you guys love them. I got so many comments for them. And the day that I posted that video, I was in such a hurry. Like I didn't have time to literally do anything because my life has been just insane lately. But I just, as I'm sitting here, I'm off camera. I'm just doing my brows and somebody commented again about those earrings and how much they love them. So if you didn't see the video, it was testing out Nabla Cosmetics Miami Lights Collection. I'll link the video here. Um, super good video. I highly recommend checking it out because those products like, mwah, okay, <laughs> chef's damn kiss. They are beautiful. But anyways, not only will I link the video up here if you don't know what I'm talking about and you want to see the earrings, but I will make sure to link those as well down in the description box because they are so beautiful. Okay, so now that the brows are done, we can finally move on to eyeshadow. And for these, I picked up the Maybelline Color Strike Cream to powder shadow pens and these I haven't looked at these like on here since I bought them but on Ulta they retail for $8.99 a piece and they do not have <laughs> good reviews ladies and gentlemen they are currently sitting at three and a half out of five stars with 156 reviews damn and they are available in 10 shades I have a lot of shades I don't know how many exactly I have but I have several shades and it says in the description and the reason that I really like the look of these it says strike the old rules of shadow meet eyeshadow in a strike Introduce Introducing Maybelline Colors Color Strike Cream to Powder Eyeshadow Pen for up to 12 hour bold color impact in one simple strike, zero fallout. Crease resistant, fade resistant, and smudge resistant. Color Strike is not your average eyeshadow. The unique cream to powder formula simply glides on with a no mess, no hassle, thanks to its pre precision cushion tip. There's a mouthful. Uh, strike in a line, strike all over, blend it in, change it up. Now create any look you want in this foolproof eyeshadow. Again, retailing for $8.99. 99 and not good reviews. Okay, so that that's reassuring. Let's go ahead and look at some of the shades I picked up here. Um, the first one is the shade number 10, Crave, and it looks like here it's just like a stick and you... Oh, <laughs> for some reason that's not what I expected. Okay, you pull it out. It is like a, a twist-in option here, probably to keep them so they don't dry out. And then you just smudge it in like so. So this is the shade Crave. It's a very dark purple shade, like a dark plum purple. Next to that, we have number 15, Tempt, which is a like a burgundy deep red shade. Okay, and then next up, we actually have a gold shade. This is 35, what is this, Flash? Yeah, 35 Flash. Okay, and then this one, like, <laughs> I swear to God, it looks to be empty. Um, this is the shade 20 Charm. And I literally, hold on, like I'm trying, I, I don't know how to like make more product come out onto this little brush applicator, but it's like a very, very light, pale pink. You can barely, hell, I can barely see it. I don't even know if you guys can see it on camera. Super duper light. Ooh, this one looks fun. This is shade 40, Rally, and it looks to be, oh, oh, it's like a shimmery bronzy color. Okay. I went ahead and I put that one next to the gold just so you could see a little comparison. This is another like shimmery glittery one. This is the shade 50, Hustle, and it looks more like an antique gold right there. Very pretty. Okay. All right. And then next up we have the blue one, which is 65 Ace, and this is not a shade I would normally reach for, but when you looked at it on the website, like look at how vibrant that is. Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? The packaging is gorgeous, by the way. It's really nice, like almost has a metallic-y feel to it. Super beautiful. And then my last two shades, it looks like this one is a little dried out. This is 45 Chase, and it's this light brown right here. And then I have like a really nice kind of neutral pewter shade, and that is number 55 Flare. Really like that pewter shade, this one right here. I think that that would be really beautiful. It would match my overall look and then I could play with some of these gold shimmers on top of it. So I'm going to take this shade again, 55 Flare. I'm going to put that on the lid after we, after we, you know, swiggle out some of this concealer crease in here. Take and just press that onto the lid. Oh, all right, all right. Okay, I'm listening. I'm listening. And then I'm just going to go in and see if I can blend out that color a little bit here. This is just a Beautylish brush. It was a part of their 420 collection. 
I'm just gonna take and blend that. It's actually blending nicely too. It, it did kind of, you know, redistribute a little bit of the product, so I'll have to build the color back up, but it didn't make it like streaky or patchy. It looks nice. I'm okay, all right, I'm not, I'm not upset so far. And then down near the lash line, like right, right down here, I'm gonna take the first shade that I swatched, which is number 10, Crave, that dark plum purple, and I'm gonna put that down here and just kind of gently blend it into that other shade. Just with my finger, just kind of move it up a little. The only issue that I am seeing, something that could be a problem, is the first shade that I went in with did kind of lessen in opacity as I as I worked with it, so just something to keep in mind. I think on the lower lash line, just to give it a little bit of pop, I was gonna go with blue, but I don't think it would match like the rest of my outfit. So I'm gonna grab that red, like dark red shade. It's more of an auburn. It's the uh, number 15 Tempt. I'm gonna run that. Just down here along the lower lash line and just kind of blend it out with my pinky. And then just in like the middle part of the eye right here, I want to tap on a little bit of a shimmer shade. This is number 50 Hustle. I'm going to take and just kind of put that ever so gently right through here. And I'm not really going to intensify it because I want it to be more of just like a light little glimmer. So I'm just gonna pack and like press it around with my finger. In terms of how I feel about um, these products, I, I just feel like I'm not super sold on them. I think the best way I could describe these is that they're not an exceptional A student, but they're also not like a flunking E student either. They're they're like right in there. They're more like a like a C. Like they, they each have things about them that are nice. Like I might love the color, the texture, whatever, but like take this purple one, for example. This is that dark plum one. It's one of my favorites. I like the color of it, but as I'm going through and I'm applying it, um, when I try to blend it out, I lose the opacity. So I have to build it again and build it again. And just on this outer V, like right up in here, I've applied this color probably three times and tapped it around, you know, to make sure that it's nice and blended. And every time that I tap it out, I lose that opacity and I have to add more. And it's just, I don't know. I feel like just to do this eye, given the way that these products are, I shouldn't have had to like work at it quite so much. Again, that's just my opinion. All right, you guys, so I'm back. The eyes are done. I did go ahead and add some eyeliners. I used two of my Fenty Fly pencils. Um, on the upper, I did the black shade, which is black card. And then on the lower lash line, I went in with purple stuff, which is one of my favorite liners from this collection. So I'll link those down below as well for you. And then now moving in to mascara, I'm going to be using a new one from CoverGirl. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. I have it in the shade very black. And ooh, okay. Also, according to the Ulta website, this is currently on sale for $8.39. Normally it retails for $11.99. And the reviews are not good on this either. Three and a half out of five stars with 212 reviews. And it says on here, according to the description, that this is a volumizing mascara and lashes will be full and defined after only one coat. Oh, okay. Let's see about that. Okay, so I just got done with mascara and I have a couple, a couple of things. Number one, in the claims, it said that you were gonna have like beautiful full lashes with one coat, blah, blah, blah. Bitch, that ain't true for uh, literally almost any mascara I have ever tried does not deliver that whether they are affordable, high-end, or anywhere in between. Um, so that's number one. I just think like that claim, in my opinion, is a little unrealistic. But if you take the time and you build it up, I did go in with probably three-ish coats of this mascara, which is pretty standard for me. Two to three coats is what I like because I don't really wear lashes. Um, I think it's good. I think it gives you some decent lengthening. But in terms of it giving me like crazy over-the-top volumized lashes, I didn't really see it with this mascara. And then another thing I remembered, noticed, whatever, is that I got this far and did my mascara and I never do mascara before I finish setting my face. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to play around with a couple more setting sprays and pray to the good God up above. Hello, sweet baby Jesus. Love you. We're going to pray that my mascara doesn't run down my face <laughs> because that would just be unfortunate now, wouldn't it? So let's go ahead and we're going to start off with this one, which I will be looking up on the Ulta site. This is the Maybelline glass spray. And it says, like I mentioned earlier, uh, makeup finishing spray for your skin to look nice and hydrated, give it a dewy finish. This retails for $11.99 and it has four out of five stars with 153 reviews. And it says, yep, just hydrated, gives you a glassy finish in seconds. Hmm, okay, I guess, I guess that's pretty much that. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this little fella here. We're gonna give it a spray test, also a smell test, because you never know. Oh, very, very light fragrance. 
Not on present. It tastes like shit. Okay. I just, I just got some on my tongue somehow. Don't recommend that. That's disgusting. But let's go ahead. Oh, and I got it all over my mirror. Cool. Love that for me. Um, wait, why does that have like a, hold on. It almost has like a, like an oily film to it or something like that must be the, the, um, the, the part of it that makes you look dewy because I swear this has like like a slippy feel. Oh, wait, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Hold on. Also, why would I read the ingredients? I'm not Jen Loves Reviews. I don't know how to decipher ingredients, but I'm looking for like bacon grease. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know what I think I'm looking for that I'm gonna understand, but there is something about this that has like a, like a, yeah, like a slippery kind of situation. Okay, you know what? Hold, pause on that. I also wanna look at this one from Morphe. This is the Luminous Setting Spray. Glow Get It infused with coconut water. So again, be mindful if you have an issue with coconut. Um, let's go ahead and take a little spray of this. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Look this up on um, um, Alta. I literally can't think. This smells like a rich ass, sophisticated woman if I've ever smelled it. Oh my God. Like I can't get over how good this smells. It retails for $16. It has four and a half out of five stars with 61 reviews. It is a hydrating formula that sets your makeup and seals in moisture, infused with coconut water, glycerin, and apple extract. Your skin will be left with a glowing finish. Oh my God, and it smells delicious. Okay, yeah, we're we're using this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Maybelline glass, whatever, but we're gonna, we're gonna go here first, okay. Oh my God, like I'd literally wear that as a body spray. <laughs> okay, that's how, that's how good that smells. You can smell the coconut, but it's like such a rich, like, mm, honey, I got coconut. I'm going to the beach with it. And I'm just going to lather it up on my body. Like that, that's the level of, oh, delicious smell. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Back to the review. Okay. Smells amazing. Mist is good. And oh, wow. <gasps> on the skin, it actually does look beautiful. Like if you're someone that has more, you know, combo leaning dry, anything in that realm, or you just like a super dewy finish, this is for you. It looks really beautiful on the skin. I thought today would be a good day to test it out since how the BB cream was also very hydrating. It looks super luminous on the skin. And that looks looks gorgeous. Like, I'm actually really impressed with how pretty that sits. All right, so last but not least here, we have a couple of items from Maybelline, and this one I don't think is new. This one is. This is the gloss, and it's their Lifter Gloss with Hyaluronic Acid in it, and I have this in the shade 010 Crystal, but I thought underneath of that, I also picked up this. It's a lipstick, obviously, and it's in the shade 144 Naked Dare, and the shade itself, just like a nice neutral nude brown kind of moment. Yeah, I'm not gonna add too much of this because it doesn't really match the look. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this gloss. Again, it's in the shade 010 Crystal. And I'm going to apply, ooh, I like this big old doe foot moment, okay. And just throw that on, ooh. Mm, okay, that's really, really pretty. I like it, I like the shine, I like the color. Okay, and just looking up this gloss really quickly, it looks like it's available in 10 shades on the Ulta website, retails for $8.99, and it has four and a half out of five stars. And I can tell why, you guys, this is beautiful. Like packaging component is really nice, application was beautiful. The gloss itself is really nice, super comfy. And in terms of shades, like you can see, I didn't go you know, super crazy, it just has a light little tinge to it, but for the most part, it's just a light little like daytime gloss. You can put a lipstick, lip liner, wear it alone if you want a little position. Zazz. I just went super, super neutral with it. You guys, with that, the full face is done and complete, and I'm gonna go ahead, throw up the up close, that way we can kind of talk through it really quickly. I don't want this outro to get super long, because obviously the, the whole video itself is quite long, but I do just want to give you guys, you know, kind of a frame of reference for how everything turned out up close for complexion and all the good things, so let's go ahead and throw that up. Um, I'm actually really impressed thus far. Obviously, it's not like a full-on test or anything, but this CC BB Cream whatever from Catrice, it actually looks really, really beautiful. And what I like about this is that it's one of those products where when you apply it, it has a beautiful luminosity. It's like very, very dewy looking on the skin. But even as I went through and I powdered and I did all the things, I added a bunch of layers, I can still get that really beautiful glow still coming through at the end. And even though, you know, it might not wear as well on my specific skin type, um, it, it's still beautiful. And I think that if you are someone that you reach for that sort of thing, this could definitely be a home run product for you because it just, it, it did look beautiful on the skin. Again, not a ton of coverage, 
but if you're looking for just that even out complexion with some glow to it this this could work really well yeah you guys that's the whole video let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below um i'd love to hear from you whether you were curious about these do you still like these videos i i know they are they're super long but um i definitely think they're worthwhile it's fun to sit down talk about drugstore and really just dive in different brands different textures and formulas and things we don't always get to talk about so let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down in the comments and like i mentioned before you guys if you haven't checked me out yet instagram and on twitter instagram and on twitter they will both be linked down below subscribe before you leave turn on your post notifications but with that i thank you all so so much for watching please don't forget to have an amazing day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this and i'll see you in the next one bye i've been in here forever it retails for eight dollars i'm just on the alta website and of course that was rude uh-huh okay it's everything you know per what i do need uh, floofy I need a big old floofalicious brooch. All I know, I got so blue about my peggy. My peggy Sue. Good when I look at you. Oh, yes, I want you, Peggy Sue. I want you, Peggy Sue. Yeah.